It's Halloween, 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 Halloween. Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm the Tilted Crown Gourmet. On today's episode, we're going to be doing a double pumpkin curry with shrimp. But maybe on this particular dish, it should be called a triple pumpkin curry because I'm going to be showing you how to actually um, serve this in hollowed out pumpkins. But the reason it's called a double pumpkin curry with shrimp is because you're going to use pureed pumpkin as well as cubed pumpkin. You know, on these nights as they are getting colder and they are getting longer, it's time to warm things up and spice things up. So let's get some prep done and let's make us some curry. You want to cut, seed, and peel. Then you want to cube one of your pumpkins. Next, chop your garlic. Then dice your onion. Core and chop your tomatoes. Now we want to make sure that we have everything ready for our curry. Your olive oil, your diced onion, your minced garlic cloves, your peeled, seeded, and cubed small pie pumpkin, your curry paste, your cayenne, tomatoes, canned pumpkin, chicken broth, coconut milk, shrimp, butter, and flour. In a Dutch oven, warm the olive oil over medium-high heat. Add your onion and garlic and saute that mixture until the onions become translucent and it becomes fragrant, which should take three to five minutes. Following that, add your curry paste and saute that until you can smell it. Now add your cubed pumpkin, your cayenne, your diced tomatoes, and stir until combined and let the cook for an additional five minutes over a medium high heat. Now you'll add your canned pumpkin, your broth, your coconut milk, and stir until combined and bring to a heavy simmer. While all that's simmering, if you choose to make pumpkins as serving vessels, cut the top off, scoop out the seeds, drizzle the insides with two tablespoons of olive oil, and roast in a 400 degree oven for 25 minutes or until the flesh is tender enough to scoop out with a spoon or fork. Add your shrimp and continue to simmer for at least eight to 10 minutes. While the curry is simmering, make your roux. In a small microwave safe dish, melt the butter, then whisk in your flour. Add the roux to the curry to thicken. Now, spoon your curry into your prepared pumpkins if you chose to use them. Otherwise, spoon it into shallow bowls. Then top with freshly chopped parsley. Serve. Bon appetit. I would like to thank you for continuing to watch the Tilted Crown Gourmet. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share as this assists with the YouTube algorithm.